How's it going guys and welcome back to Dread Out 2. In the last video we came and went to the we went and came back to the hospital and uh, we went back home we took a little nappy poo and we woke up in the middle of the night and now we're gonna be wandering the city at night. Although I should turn the light on there we go that's that's a little bit nicer and there are creepy noises everywhere we should probably take a pee before we go in case a ghost scares us and we might you know y you know what I'm saying all right uh so oh 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 the landlord's here rent Zzz. she must be really tired to fall asleep here oh so she's just passed out are you sure that wasn't anything supernatural what does this ghost say oh what oh whoa that's creepy where this ghost was before there's just hair on the ceiling now Ooh. Anything like in the rooms we can see? No? Yikes. Okay, let's go out to the street. This is gonna be really cool because we've been out onto the streets during the- What? Oh, dang, son. Oh, dang, son. What do you want me to do about that? I can't take a picture of it so it goes away. Okay, we gotta- maybe we gotta follow the laughing noises. The hee hee hees. The hee hee hees. Oh, 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 there's someone else up here. Okay. Oh, man, she is tweaking out. Holy crap, look at her. Okay, we got her, we got her. <laughs> Maybe we should have grabbed her. Like, we should have taken a picture of her and then... Oh, is there a ghost here? There's oh, there's the mist. Whenever there's the mist, there's usually a ghost can attack us. I was like, maybe we should have grabbed her. We just let her fall onto the floor. That's gotta hurt. She's gonna be bruised, you know? Maybe we gotta take a picture of the landlady too? No, 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 she's just asleep. She's just sleeping through all this. What a legend! Anything back in my room then? No? Oh, every time that noise starts, I think there's gonna be something coming for me. So we can't get down this hallway. Huh? Can we? No, no, we can. Okay, we can go- Oh my god! That's so creepy! That was so creepy looking! I'm so sorry I let you fall on the ground too, that's gonna hurt in the morning. I'm so sorry. Okay, now where do we go? Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me! Did you see her? Holy crap! That scared the shit out of me, man! I was not ready for that. That was a good one. You got me. That's, that's a good one. Oh, we can go outside now. Yeah, the hair's gone. Oh, okay. I see. Well, let's let's peace out. Let's get out of there. Okay, anyone? Oh my god, do you see the shadow? Look at look at. Let's take a picture of the shadow. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, get out of here. Get out of here, tee hee hee. Oh, Jesus, come on. This is a cool section. Oh my, oh my god, what, is, where is she? She's wrecking me. I'm not gonna let you tee hee on me anymore. I can't, I can't see her. I can't see her, I don't know where she is. I can't, I, I, what in the heck? Go back in. Oh, I see her now, I see her, I see her, I see her, okay. Okay, jeez, she is so fast. How, how, okay, how do you fight her? She is so fast. Oh, I got her, I got her. No, I didn't. Boom, I got her with a charge shot. No, 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 why can't I take a picture of her? Why, 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 why? Oh my god, this hallway's the worst. We need to get somewhere more open. This is better, this is better. We're, we're fighting right here. Oh, there's a Pochong over there. Yo, Pochong! Pochong, I can't, I can't take a picture. I'm getting, I'm getting so wrecked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. She's- she's a cheater, man. Okay, I got her once. I don't think I can really do a charge shot. Oh no, I did that time. No! Why didn't I hit her that time? There she is. Charge shot, yo, son! Yeah, if you're looking at her, she doesn't come at you. So as long as you keep her in your sights, even if she's in a wall, like if you keep her in front of you, she won't come at you. There we go. Okay, I see how that worked. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, read about her in the Ghostpedia. So she was the Kunitilanak. A pale-skinned woman with unnatural long hair, razor-sharp nails, and high-pitched voices. These are common features of this ghost as told by anyone who had a cross path with uh, Kuntilanak. Kuntilanak. <laughs> Kuntilanak. 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 Kuntilanak lives to devour internal organs and sucking up blood from their victims. Damn. She also has a habit of kidnapping little children. It's related to their origin as a woman who died in childbirth. Oh, wow. I see. She died in childbirth. Whoa! And there she is. Oh, that was the one that was in our house the whole time anyways. 
Please don't! It hurts! I'm sorry, but she made me do it. Who made you do it? Please don't, it hurts! Who made you do it? This Pochong, I want to take a picture of you, bro. Yeah. Can we talk to this Pochong? No? Can't do anything with that Pochong. Is everyone inside safe? Let's take a look. Are you okay? Renz. Okay, I think everyone's fine. I think let's just keep on going. Let's go out to the main road, I'm guessing. Go out to the main road. Oh no, we can't go that way. So our hand is red. Like, I think the bracelet glows red when there's a threatening ghost near us. So I wonder why it's still red. Oh, that's why. That's us. What the heck? Yeah. 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 A got her. Oh, yeah, it's her. We saw her at the very beginning of the act. She stole her phone? No way. I need that. That's the big enemy we saw at the hospital. Oh, my God. We need to stealth through here, don't we? Let's just hide. No, we're good. We're good. You don't... don't stop breathing, Linda. There's someone on the street there. That guy's shitting bricks, I bet. Is he gonna die? Oh no, they're just hiding. He's, he's not moving. Oh! I see. We gotta wait for him to turn around. Turn around, big boy. I think he's facing me now. Turn around. There we go. Now we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, well, let's go ask these guys. Hey. Do you know any way to get by him? Maybe let's go on the other side, huh? Oh yeah, we going on the other side. The other side is great. A duck, Linda! Okay, let's wait for him to turn around. He is turned around, but let's wait for him to turn this way and then back that way. Whoa! Oh, he's going! I'm stuck! I can't even move, look! Did, did I just get stuck here? I, I'm- Look at me! I'm stuck on the ground! I can't move! Na 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 she's twisting on her knees, practicing her b-boy moves finally, holy crap. She had to practice her sick b-boy moves for a while there. Alright. Oh my god, how are we gonna get by now? We can't go through there. We gotta get to the other side. How are we gonna do that? He's gonna go, go back to the other side, bro. So I can get by. Is he just gonna keep on going? What's he gonna do? Man, that guy's creepy. Holy crap, he's huge. Oh, I think he saw me. Oh, poop. Oh, look at his tongue. Man, that is real creepy looking. Yeah, go that way. Go. Go. I command you, go. I'm your master. Well, let's try going on this side. Oh, let's wait for him to turn around though. Okay, he's turned. Run, Linda! We got by! He turned around. We are so sneaky. Oh no, he- Why? He's following me, you stalker. Well, that's okay. We're hidden. We're hidden back here. Oh my god, we gotta cross the street. Okay, we gotta wait for him. He's looking this way. He's looking the other way. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's go down this alley. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. There she is. Give me my camera back! Oh, she's- Oh, sh she left it for me. Can we take a picture of him? Ooh! I just wanted a picture of you, bro. I just wanted a little selfie. Oh, is he just gone now? Oh, the bro's gone. He's gone when we started the checkpoint. But, oh, oh my god, there's ghosts here. Let's take pictures of them. Look at that. You fool! I'm surging with power tonight. You can't defeat me. Oh. Are you sure we can't? Let's just push on forward and chase after that ghost woman who stole our phone. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Why are there wolf noises? The wolves in the city? Are they ghosty wolves? Oh, hey, bro. You fool, I'm surging with power. Okay, whatever. Can we talk to this person? Heavy breathing, nice guy, Abby. Cigarette, give me, give me, cigarette. <laughs> oh, do we actually have to get this guy a cigarette? Are you, really? 
I think that old lady has some. Oh, yeah, of course the old lady has some. We got to go back to our uh, home. And the landlady's always smoking cigarettes. We're just going to pluck one right out of her mouth. Hello, lady. Give me those... Give me those cigarettes. Ha ha. That's how rebellious I am. I'm not even going to pay my rent. And I'm going to steal your cigarettes. Linda's super rebellious. She's going to find them the next day, isn't she? She's going to be like, Linda, you stole my cigarettes. How could you? You're so bad. You want some? Here's the cigs. Ha ha. That's the stuff. This pleases me. I will now release you. Leave, please. Oh, that guy got released because we gave him cigarettes. Let's just give everyone cigarettes. Those other guys, too. Maybe we should give them cigs. Maybe that's just the answer. That's the solution to this madness. Oh, hey. So, what What do you need? Anything? Or are you just going to say the same thing? You're surging with power tonight. Beware of dog. Those are the wolfy noises we've been hearing. Whoa! Yeah, beware of that doggy. That's a tiger! Hard to breathe. Can't move. Why can't I move? T what? How in the world? I I'm just... I just got... I just got scratched by a tiger. Damn. But it's just a ghostly tiger. Like, no big deal. Maybe it just high-fived me. It was kind of slow. Maybe it wasn't a full-on, uh, yeah. It wasn't a full-on attack. I trust you, tiger. We should tame the tiger. Imagine if we got, like, a ghost tiger pet. That's, that's what we need. That would be the bee's knees, wouldn't it? Um. Where are we supposed to be going? Oh, there she is. There's the girl. Hey. She's in there. We can't get in there, though. Probably gotta go around the long way. Let's, let's just peace out. I'm peacing. I am... Oh, oh, there's another ghost here. But, I mean, we can't do anything about them. I'm so sorry. They're surging with power. They're, they're too powerful for me to take care of. You hear that thumping, huh? It's like someone beating on a drum. Wonder what that is. Going through Ooh, the back alleys of the city. Holy shoot. I got a picture of him. I see what we're supposed to do here. We take a picture of him and hide in the alleyway. Is he going to come back? Oh, yeah, he is. Ooh, damn, son. Okay, so let's get ready for him. He's, he's going to come from this way, right? Ah! Where's he coming from? Ah! Oh, I got him. He was he was that way. I'm just going to wait right here. I like this spot. Use the audio cues, Eric. Whoa. Damn, is he in, he's in front of me, isn't he? No, no, it sounds like he's to the left. Go, where are you, bro? Boom. Sun. Toast. Oh, this is a great spot to be right here. We can see him at any angle. Yeah, I like it. I want to get a charge shot against him, but it's pretty hard. It's pretty risky, you know? Oh, he's coming. Where's he coming from? Are you serious? That picture didn't register? You got to wait for him to get, like, hot and heavy on your cheeks, like, right beside you. Okay, come on. Is he always... Yeah, he's always going to come down there. Easy peasy. Is he just always going to come from that way? He doesn't spawn over here anymore? Ah, ha, ha, ha. You think you're cool? I got you in a never-ending loop, tiger boy. What? Oh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Man, that noise that suddenly popped up was really weird. That noise suddenly, that freaked me out. Like, I thought something else was coming for me. Okay, we had to go. He wasn't coming anymore. I think we actually have to follow him. Like, we have to progress forward. What is going on? How do we get in there? I feel like... Oh, I opened it, didn't I? I did. Okay. Oh my god! He's in here. Now he's... Man, now we gotta fight the tiger in a closed space? Oh, shit! Look at him. Man, he's a cheese lord. Now he's cheesing me. You cheese lord. <laughs> I like how you get, like, one hit, and then he just, like, slashes you. Is, it, is this the game we're gonna be playing? We're just gonna be doing this all over again? Oh, no. Critical hit. Now run away. 
critical hit. Now run away. Man, you can't even get away from him. He's such a cheese lord. Okay, now run away. Run. Oh! This is the hardest fight I've ever done in my life. Why didn't that register? I, like, shot right at him. There we go. In your face, tiger boy! Damn. Ghost tiger, huh? Let's check out this Ghostpedia entry. Let's read about ghost tigers. Maung Bodas. A mythical white tiger spirit connected to Prabhu Shilawangi, a famous king of Pajajaran Kingdom. Among the Sundanese people, Maung Bodas or Bodas, or the white tiger is believed as Prabhu Shilawangi's spirit animal and also his boons. Manifestation. Sorry, I, I burped there. Um, I probably butchered all of those pronunciations. I'm just putting it out there. So please go easy on me in the comment section. Indonesian fans. <laughs> please go please go easy on me, okay? I can speak Korean. That's that's good enough, isn't it? Alright. Um, there's there's a ghost. The bracelet's red. I feel like she's she's close to here. She was like right here when we looked in here. Like she is close. Are we gonna have to fight her in here? This would be a crazy room to fight in with like all these little mini hallways and stuff. Where is she? I guess we just gotta find her. Let's look around with the camera, yeah. No, I don't think she's in here. This is where we were. This is where we were looking in before. So, where is she? I guess- oh, we can- Eric, you know what? Doors are meant for opening. Did you know that? Well, now you do, buddy. Now, now you do. Okay, gotta keep on going. Don't see her quite yet. Oh, there's a gate over here. I had to turn the brightness up on my monitor. I didn't- I did not see this over here at all. Like, I guess my game, it was a little too dark. Okay. Brightness up on the monitor, and there's that dude. He, is he gonna- You gonna ask for cigarettes too? You fool, okay. Err, coffee. I- dude, I- I mean, I understand that guy. Coffee. I needed to live as well. One of the best taste instant coffee brands, widely favored among coffee aficionados, famous for its premium, delightful, and yet low acidity tastes. Uh, oh, we should, we can find another one? I think that one's fine. I mean, that is... It's premium instant coffee, though. It's still instant. What about this one? Back of the packet says, the ginseng-infused coffee brand known for its unique herby aroma, marketed as a booster for men's vitality and wellness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one sounds awesome. Ginseng for men's stamina. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you know what I mean. Are you dumb? How am I supposed to drink this? Well, fuck. What a picky person. Oh, we need to make it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can't just give him, like, the powder or whatever. Here you go. Put the powder in your mouth. Man, so picky. He's, like, possessed or whatever. He's like, ugh, bro. Ghost's not gonna leave me alone if you give me that shit. What is this, cat piss? Find me- Man, are you kidding me? You don't want the premium? You want- I gave you- I gave you ginseng! I gave you ginseng coffee, like, amazing stuff, okay? It's gonna help you in bed, bro. He doesn't want it? Fine. What a picky, possessed person he is. You are insanely picky. Here you go, bro. This is garbage. Find me another one. What? There's another one? Do we actually have to go back? Bruh. Bruh. There is one back here. I saw some... Yeah, I see there's something back here. Jeez, man. So picky. The mocha-flavored coffee brand is a favorite among young people due to its mild yet sweet taste with a cute picture of a K-pop idol in front of it. Okay. Take this one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. K-pop. Let's go. That's a picture of someone from BTS. He better like this one. He's gonna drink this and he's just gonna start K-pop dancing in front of me. I'm a, I'm a great K-pop dancer. Alright. Bring another one worthy for me. Find me another one. Jesus Christ, dude. You are the worst human being I've ever met in my entire life. I can't believe we're on a fetch quest for coffee. 
The tiger fight was cool. But now there's so much different kinds of coffee here. Look at all that. The back of the packet says a simple strong black coffee with sugar popular among blue collar workers. We can find them easily on convenience stores roadside. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. The back of the packet says one of the earliest instant coffee cream brands. It's heyday. It was widely consumed and enjoyed everywhere. Now due to the emergence of many competitors, Maung Coffee Mix has lost its status. Let's take that one. This guy seems like he he's into the classics. Trash! Fire! Ah! You know what? I'm gonna go with game logic here. I'm gonna grab the cup that's the furthest away. Because that always works. The cup that's the furthest away. Or the uh, the kind of coffee that's the furthest away. It's, it's gonna be the right one. Because it's the hardest to get at, right? That makes complete sense. Here we go. The back of the bag, it says, A sachet of 3 to 1 instant generic coffee without any detailed description. The sachet features only a picture of a handsome football player. He's... He's gonna be into that one. Yes. If you don't like this one, I quit forever. Finally, it's the he likes the most boring black or normal coffee ever. This is because if the others are just plain garbage, I have no use of this person. You can take him. Oh, the ghost wanted it? Oh my god. He is the pickiest ghost I've ever seen in my life. Can I get by you now, please? Miss Linda? What are you doing here this late? D don't worry, miss. You got me. Okay. Now we're back out onto the road. Oh, we're on the other side, though. We probably could have climbed over that car, but, you know, game logic. I get it. Now we're looking for that uh, ghost here. We're looking for her. There's another person over here. The guy at the convenience store, yeah? Can we talk to this one? No? You fool! Alright. Whoa! It was this tiger here, wasn't it? That tiger has a ghost, doesn't it? Hey. Oh, there she is. We gonna have to fight her? Boom, I took a big picture of you. Are you waving at me? Oh, she has a knife. She has a knife and mystical powers. Oh my God. Oh, there's another ghost here. I think that's what got me. Okay, let's uh, this one's an easy one. He's dead. Okay, oh no, she hadoukened me! Hadouken! Why can't- I can't damage her, why not? Oh, there we go. That was a charge attack, too. No, I can't get a second one. There's another ghost after me, isn't there? Yeah, okay. We'll have to take care of him before we can damage her, maybe? She's hadoukening me again. We need to- we need to peace out of there. Alright. Oh, where'd she go? Is she coming up behind me? What? Oh, it's him. Oh, no, 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 Hadouken. Oh, no. It's like she's not that deadly with her Hadoukens, but all the other ghosts, they're dead. They're super deadly. Oh, what? Backed right into him. I just died, wow. God damn, all these other ghosts popping up out of nowhere. Why, man, my hits aren't registering with her. I don't understand why. It's like you can only hit her at a certain time, but there's no indicator as to when you can hit her. That's, uh, eh, it's a little odd. I mean, I guess it's so that you can't just like mash attacks against her, which I, I do get, but I wish there was some kind of system in place where you gotta like lock onto her and then you can do damage to her. What is that? What, what are you? What? Bruh! Look at this guy! What is he doing? He's like a little baby ghost. Maybe we gotta take a picture from the front of him. He's a little bit. he's like a pouting little baby. He's like, nah, nah, nah. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I don't wanna do it. What is going on? What are we gonna get to? There's another one. Maybe we gotta get both of them in the same picture. Okay, I've taken like 20 pictures of this guy. This little baby ghost. And you are super adorable. But I don't know if I'm trying if I'm supposed to solve something. Okay, they're all together now. Look at this. This is gonna be beautiful. No, I gotta wait for this guy to stop. Stop running, baby! There I got I got all of them. 
They ran in opposite direction. Man. Okay, I, I have no idea what that is. I, it might be just be like a little Easter egg or something. I'm just gonna go to this boss fight. I tried it. Tried it for like five minutes. I'm over it. Okay, got her. Got her with a good shot right away. Nice. Okay, I just wanna keep her out front. Okay, we didn't get her there too. There we go. That's weird. Sometimes I get her, sometimes I don't. Another ghost is probably somewhere here, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hide from that shot. Oh, I think I got her with just a normal shot, not a charge shot. Okay, let's run back around. Let's see if we can get her before she starts following me. Yo, oh, she's all the way on the back. Ah, don't get hit by that. This ghost dude's dead. <laughs> this ghost is dead. What a great thing to say, huh? Oh, poop. Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough for him. Yeah, he's dead. And by dead, I mean defeated. Because the ghost is already dead. I'm sorry, is that offensive, ghost? What's up with her, though? She's not... There we go. Need to wait for her to move. Once she starts moving a little bit, you can take it. There we go, like that. Take a picture of her. Okay, cool. Any other ghosts you're gonna summon? But yeah, there's gonna be one close to me, yes. Okay, I understand how this works. You hit her once, she summons a ghost. And we gotta wait for her to do some move movement shenanigans. And then take a picture of her. Yo! Is that it? You done? Where's your ghost you're summoning? There you are. Man, I even saw you as soon as you phased into existence. Damn. That's just how good I'm getting, right? Can I get a picture of her? Not yet. Is this gonna be the final killing blow? Stay tuned on Eric Van Wilderman. Boom! No. Uh -huh. Oh, never mind, you got me. Joke's on me this time. It's funny, I got her stuck behind the building. <laughs> so, like, she can't even use her projectile to hit me. Oh, never mind. Oh, she's up there. What? Oh, she's there. Whoa! She's there. Damn. Underestimated. She finally moved. Oh, no! Okay, I got her, though. Oh, uh, you hit me? What a wiener. Ooh, got her before she could sh shoot. Yes! I am the victor this time. No, I'm not! Quick, take a picture of her point blank. A bunch. Wait, who's that? It's the person who was using the kitty cat to help us. That was a black cat, though. It wasn't a white cat. Wait, who are you? Fortune teller. Oh, she's a fortune teller that saved us. Oh, she's on the streets. You can see her in the game. I forget if I went up to her. Your name is Linda, right? I forget if I went up to her in the, in the video, but she is there on the streets. I'm sorry, I got to find your identity through your belongings. That's fine, fortune teller. Right now you're safe under my care. I was lucky to find you while I was looking for my missing cat. It must have been fate. Ah, uh, where's my manor? Folks around here call me fortune teller. That's, wow, well, really? I do have a real name, but this title is kind of stuck with me. About last night, I'm not quite sure what's happened to you. But I sense something dark and strong is following you all this time. With something inside of you taken, this thing will get stronger. Until now, it had awakened dark vibration throughout this area. I'm afraid it's only the beginning of terrible things to come. So because of the dark thing in Linda, all this other stuff is affecting everybody else. Listen, Linda, I'm not sure if you're able to overcome this challenge. Maybe, just maybe, there's a slim chance for you to defeat it in its realm. Oh, so we gotta go into its realm. I like the song. It's great. We gotta go into its realm. Damn. Are you ready to go? No. Understood. Yeah, not quite yet. I want to go outside. We'll come back here. Where are we? 
I want to explore a little bit, you know? Oi. Oi, you're with Fortune Teller, right? Cool, cool, cool. If some schmucks bother you, tell them you're under nice guy Obby's protection. Oh, you're the guy who wanted cigarettes, aren't you? Okay, how about you guys? Hi, hey, girlfriend, your Fortune Teller's friend, yes? Listen, if you want some beauty advice, just come and talk to me. I can help you find your inner beauty. Longo Fortune Teller helped me find my true self. So her friend is my friend. All right, we got a bunch of new pals all of a sudden. That's pretty neat. I like having some pals. Oh, so we're in the back streets. Oh, see, there's a ghost here. Look at the, the bracelet is glowing blue. I feel like it's in the ambulance somewhere. Oh, there we go. I got a new ghost PD entry. What was, what was that? That's why we're exploring, you know? Um, Ghostpedia. So we got an urban legend, the Haunted Ambulance. Almost every Bandung, that's the city we're in, Bandung. Bandung? Bandung? I think that's how you'd say it. Residents familiar with the Haunted Ambulance urban legend. The legend was originated from the story of a demised Dutch family. The ambulance itself believed to transport the bodies to the hospital. Strangely, the ambulance moved back to the house where the family used to live by itself. Every time the authority moved the ambulance, the ambulance always drove itself back to the house. Since then, the ambulance was left alone and nobody dares to move it again. Neighbors claimed they could hear the engine sound in the middle of the night without someone starting it. That's pretty creepy. Wow. Cool urban legend. So we found another urban legend! We've only gotten two. <laughs> I've probably missed some. Yeah, we were in the back street. We were back there. That was blocked off before. So as the axe progress, the open world gets bigger and bigger. Which is uh, pretty cool. I like that. I want to talk to these people though. That old hag just doesn't understand. Listen, Linda, about the place I told you before. There's no curfew in that place. We can party all night long with lots of cool guys. So what do you say? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go party. Party with some dudes. Where's my... Hey, you! You took my cigarettes! <laughs> this is all I wanted to see right here. I'm sorry, landlady. I mean, you got one right in your mouth, okay? Don't be greedy. I wonder if this ghost is up here, though, with the cats again. I wonder if it'll say anything. Yeah, she's back. You. About last night. I'm so sorry. Oh, she's sorry. I mean, she did like it here, yeah. She's sorry. That's that's really cool. I like it how there's a dialogue for that, you know? Oh, hey, there's a blue thing glowing here. So there's something in this back alleyway. That's cool. Ooh, yes. Found another. The Flat-Faced Ghost. The Flat-Faced Ghost is one of the most famous characters from Indonesian urban legends. The mischievous ghost often disguised as roasted peanut peddler, and it would spawn in unlikely places. Clueless victims would approach and try to communicate with the ghost. By the time they do, it's all too late. The Flat-Faced Ghost would reveal its true face and makes the victim scared to death. Wow. Cool. So that is the peddler ghost that Mona was talking about. We got that one. Nice. Oh, wow. Sorry, I just missed a bunch of dialogue. I just thought this was something random. So, like, they talked about, like, a ghost motorcyclist. And it said, where should I wait until midnight? Do I want to wait until midnight? Yeah, let's do it. Let's wait until midnight and see if we can find, like, a ghost motorcyclist. Uh, sorry, I missed a bunch of dialogue. I, I didn't mean to skip it for you guys. I was like, oh. They're just random chatter at the coffee shop. I didn't think it was going to be, like, anything super interesting. But they say to wait for a ghost motorcyclist at midnight. Really? This is a thing? Okay. There it is! Boom! I got it. That was a pochong. Is that all? Oh, it dropped something. Oh, uh, what did I get? What is that? Uh, I haven't even been here yet. What did I get? School lobby key, not that hospital master key. The blood-soaked riding license. This piece of paper is soaked with blood. I almost cannot read the whole text. I think the owner was involved in a nasty road accident. I should keep it for now and return it to its owner and his or her family. Okay, so this ghost motorcyclist got into an accident and died. That's cool. Is that a Ghostpedia entry? No, it's not. Not quite. Um, cool. Oh, it also said I unlocked a new area. It said this question mark, question mark area. Should we just go there now? <laughs> what did I... Where are we going? So I unlocked this area. And we're going here to fight. Or is this the area we're supposed to go to for the story? This might just be the area we're supposed to go to for the story. Or not. I'm on the back of a motorcycle. Start the conversation with the driver. Yeah. He doesn't want to talk. Oh my god! We're on the ghost motorcyclist! <laughs> motorcycle! 
What the heck is this? Don't be afraid, I don't want to scare you. We're just going for a ride. I just want to talk to you. Okay. It's quite lonely being a ghost. I can imagine. Yeah, you can't interact with anyone. Uh, who are you? Where are my manners? Is this part of the- this isn't part of the story. This is extra. The name is Dai Speed Irawan. Yeah, his name was Speed, but you- you were- you went too fast. The fastest guy in Maung District. Yeah, you- you took too many risks there, buddy. Vroom vroom! Now you see me! Now you don't! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> look at him go! Man, you are fast, buddy! I agree! You're super fast! Not impressed, ain't you? No, I, I was impressed. Linda might not be, but I was very impressed. Right. What exactly do you want? Been trying to meet you. I'd be like, that girl is so cool. She's like exercising ghosts and stuff. She's so cool, man. I know, I am cool. Maybe I can talk to her about my story. I'm all ears. But please drive safely. So I prayed to the racing gods. Boom, you're here! Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to hear my story? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Okay, why not? I used to be an ordinary boy who lived with my mom and pa. So you probably died young, I imagine. We used to be a happy family. But something happened. My ma and pa owned a hotel. It used to be the coolest in this town. Then the business went downhill and so was my family. Debts were piling, ma and pa fought a lot. Couldn't stand it any longer. And I ran from home. Luckily in the street I found my true talent. I became a badass illegal racer. Badass, bro. But you put your life and others' lives in danger. Earn some money and a reputation. Then shit happened. Yeah, you flew off your handlebars, wasn't wearing a helmet, I bet. One night at the end of a race. When I almost reached the finish line. I saw a huge green hand come out of nowhere. Oh, damn. So some supernatural entity just murdered him. That thing was trying to catch me. Out of panic, I lost control of my bike. And then, boom! Blood everywhere. Couldn't feel my body. Okay, yeah, he, he knocked you off your bike. And everything went black. Big green hand, huh? Wonder what that was. I woke up, found myself like this. You were a pochong. But a badass pochong. Because you're driving a bike. Nah, it's okay. I can keep on racing like crazy without fear. Yeah, you can't die twice. Right. Ha ha ha. At last. I get it all out of my chest. Cool, well, I'm glad I could be a person you could talk to. Thank you for listening, Linda. 
That's cool. That's a cool little side story. That, that was awesome. That was really neat. That's cool when they have like little optional bits in games like that. And that was like, that was really cool. Now, where are we? Uh, rest in peace, die. Oh, this is like his, uh, his grave. Maybe we'll ride together again someday. Damn, yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace indeed. And we got something in the Ghostpedia. Another is an urban legend or an actual ghost? The Pochong Motor, yeah. Restless Beard who loved illegal racing. Linda met him by acquiring his blood-soaked riding license. Linda could choose whether hearing the story or banish him. We could have banished him, yeah, by ignoring him and being, like, mean to him. Huh. That's cool. And this is, like, a whole new area. I wonder if there's anything in the cemetery. Can we go anywhere else? I mean, I imagine there's like another, there's got to be another ghost or something. It's quite a big area to just have like nothing, you know? Who are you? Oh, what? I didn't, my bracelet wasn't that, wow. Got another urban legend, the headless ghost. Nobody really knows about the origin of the Headless Ghost. This urban legend became the talk of the town among Jakarta residents in the late 90s. It was believed the Headless Ghost was lost inside the ce uh, cemetery complex. I tried to find his way back to his grave. Rumor said that the ghost only manifests itself if we come to search for him in odd numbers. But it came with a consequence. Every witness would fall to a mysterious illness after the meeting. Ooh. Dang. Okay. Well, we got another urban legend. That's cool. Ghost motorist. Very nice. My best friend is gone. I... Oh, that, oh, that was probably her pet. Yeah. That's a sad, sad little story there, huh? Damn. I bet we're gonna have to come back here for something else. Like, this is a huge sprawling area. There's gonna, this is gonna be like an area where we go to to fight later on. Like, part of the story. Um, but for now, I think I just want to go back. Wow, this is huge. Mandretto 2 is huge, and I love it for it. It's really cool. These areas are, this main hub area is like absolutely massive. The Maung, Maung district. Man, it is very cool. Okay. So I, mean, I just checked for ghosts in like this back corner near where the fortune teller is, but didn't see the bracelet change, so. Ew, oh, we stepped in poo, ew, oh, gross. Uh, let's just progress the story, I guess. This act is pretty long, cool. I dig it, let's go. Are you ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. Godspeed, Linda. My prayers are with you. So, oh, that's all we had to do, and we just got a new location. <laughs> we got a new location. Where are we? Where are we going? Oh, we got the Indi Mui Hotel. Oh, that's cool. So we got to go to the hotel, which is the hotel of the biker that uh, we just talked to, the Pochong uh, biker dude. Hey guys, teen vlogger Amy. Dion and Jono, welcome to Ghost Cut in the Act! The scariest show ever! Hey, who are you? And you here to vlog too? I mean, yeah, look it, I got my phone, I'm, I'm ready. Hey, where are you going? Please tell us if you find anything scary. Um, certainly, I will. Okay, cool, so this... Yeah, the hotel is just completely abandoned. The one that the ghost motorist uh, told us about. Um, that his parents ran. So, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it is 100% rundown. Uh, there's a creepy... Just a random dude in the back here. Hello? I'll be... You scared me, fam! Thought you ate me! Where on earth did you come from? Huh? Alright, I'll come right away. I'll look at him. Oh yeah, he's a YouTuber. You can just tell. Just look at him. Look at that beanie. Who would wear a hat to cover up their baldness anyways? Should we call for the elevator? I feel like if we go in, we're gonna go somewhere scary. I want to go upstairs. For, you can't go upstairs. Okay, we're forced. We're forced into it. We're going in. Now, there is an urban legend in this uh, hotel that Mona told us about, so I'm gonna be looking for it. Oh, <gasps> Whoa, that's Siska! That is 100% our teacher. That was Siska. The Ouroboros Siska, the one with the snake lady. Don't answer that. But is she? Is she that was she's God. dead, though, isn't she? Listen. Ah, your heartbeat. 
I can hear it. Anger? Self-doubt. And is that guilt, perhaps? <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, damn. I wonder if Siska's gonna be the last boss then. Oh. Damn, we're gonna have, or maybe she won't be. Okay, this is Act 4 on the hunt. Great. We did a lot of stuff in this video. This is the longest dread out video I've made so far because the act was pretty long. We are gonna square off against Siska, so maybe she won't be the last boss because I don't think the game's just gonna end here. So, wow, that was cool. We did a lot of stuff. We got some urban legends, found the ghost motorists. And, uh, yeah, we explored the city at night, which was a really cool section, I think. It was, uh, really cool. The boss fight at the end was cool with the Hadouken throwing ghosts. The tiger boss I liked. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Much better than the original Dreadout. And, uh, I'm excited to play more. Hope you guys are too. Leave a like. It helps this channel out immensely to help it grow. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.